All right, I'm gonna show you the newest DJI goggles. It's this guy right here. We are currently headed up the mountain. I think we're going off Azusa here in California. This is probably going to come out much later than when we're filming it because I can't show you. I couldn't show you what I've been flying, but uh, it's cool. It works pretty good. I've been testing it for like the past three months. It's not perfect, but the product itself is good. Yes, and we are talking about the new DJI goggles with a 22 millisecond delay. Hey, so this is the, this is the uh, Rotor Riot location that we're in. Tommy flew down that spot. Damn, look at that so We're here at the, we're at the entrance, we're going in. We're in the river. Going in. Going into the four low. So now that it's so bumpy, dude. Super bumpy, you can't go fast through there. You have to go slow. Let's eat our sandwich. These are the newest DJI goggles. I actually don't know what it's gonna be called. We're launching it uh, in two weeks or so. This is the air unit that it comes with. It's all installed in the back. This is not, this is probably not how you would install it, but you got the two antennas and you can run it with a DJI radio controller, which I'm not using because most of you guys are probably gonna use Crossfire with it. And it works totally fine. I got my crossfire on my Tyrannus. Um, the only thing is you won't get telemetry in here. What's cool about this, um, if you use Betaflight, you'll get telemetry in here. You can change your PIDs. You can do all that stuff, everything you, you wanna do, you can do with the goggles. Cause it connects to your remote, or sorry, your flight controller. And um, it talks to it and all that stuff. So everything's all gravy. So I got a reverb. Here. I had to run it backwards because it doesn't fit, it didn't quite fit in the front, or sorry, it didn't fit in the back here, so I had to flip it, and I also don't have a mount for the mini camera, so I just glued the thing, works fine, and um, I'm running KISS, so unfortunately, this is the KISS V1, unfortunately it does not read telemetry from the KISS, so I got all my telemetry and stuff on my Tyrannus. So we're all good. Gives me my voltage, voltage reads that readouts and everything. Yeah, what do you think? Are those linear or the? I have no idea, man. Coaxial? Like, what's the deal? It's like a digital. It's like a PCB oh. inside. And these are these antennas. I had to glue these back. These are quite fragile, so these pop off. Just and they didn't fill up with foam, so. But what do they look like inside? It's a cylinder, and it's that flat PCB. PCB. What do you mean backwards? This is backwards. This is the oh. tail. Cause this don't fit dude. Uh, it's too fat. Yeah. So that's an that's one downside. Um, if you have a normal frame, it probably won't fit your frame unless you do some stuff and. But if you decase it. Mm, but this is a heat sink. We get enough air. The case is a heat sink. Yeah, so if like you're brave that. enough, you can take apart your couple hundred dollar VTX digital VTX and have fun with it. I'm not doing that. I'm not. You can do that. Sven's turn to try the DJI goggles. We're gonna throw it on there, see what he thinks. DJI. It reminds me of the Conic, but less weird. The Conic felt unnatural. I think it was the frame rate? Yeah. What is the frame rate on this thing? 60? 60. 60. What's cool about these goggles is you can see the number three channel that he's using on the left side. Right here, when I'm pointing, you can use Crossfire, you can use your favorite, favorite radio and all that stuff. So the Connex 
Yeah, the Connex feels like laggy and jittery. Yeah. Like you can notice the frame rate. On this one, you don't notice the frame rate. It's like smooth. The goggles record DVR and there's a SD card in the unit as well. So you got both. That's like perfect video this entire time. Yeah. I would like to see what it does when you're out of range. You know, when it's I know, so we gotta go to El Mirage and do a yeah. range test. Okay. Not here. All right, we go on to the other side where there's less people. <laughs> Fly this whole open space. Be good for the test. You know, like I said, I can't destroy this quad. Uh, nice, and shady, nice and shady. You guys can see we're gonna do a DVR comparison, so you guys can see what the reception's like between analog and digital. And we're just gonna follow each other, so you guys can really see the difference. Landed in the wrong spot. Well, it was like 13 volts. I'm like, this looks like a good spot. You went 13? All of a sudden, it just dropped. Oh, Once we started heading into the wind. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Getting kicked out at 4:30. Let's do this. I gotta get there before they shut the gate on us. All right, we're gonna make the gate. We're gonna make the gate. We're gonna head to this next spot. Apparently, there's another campground that we can. Uh, check out it's like full-on summer you guys look at this double parked campers people are chilling out there area with beautiful compared to this oh for sure all right it's our second spot we are up at 40 what 4500 5500 5, feet above sea level crystal that's lake. right right at yeah, crystal lake beautiful up here i don't know if you guys can see we're underneath the, the trees. Got the these nice. See if, any, see if there's any bears. Oh, look at that nice tree. I'm gonna fly all this. A lot of scraggle though. I'm gonna fly some more and do some pecs. Do you feel any wind? No, perfect. No wind. We're gonna have some fun. Skeeters are out. We're gonna fly a couple more packs, but we're gonna end this video here. We had a lot of fun. Well, I had a lot of fun with the goggles. What'd you think? Very awesome. I kinda like them. Would you buy it though? I don't know how much it is though. I have no idea how much it's gonna be. All right, we will see you guys next video. Yo, Ben. What's up, dude?
with the moon.